I think what we're seeing here, though, is if we look at history, we will see that technology comes first, and then socio-political organization comes right after. For example, Western democracies and you know liberal democracies like we know them today are a direct derivative of the Industrial Revolution. I mean, that couldn't have happened before. Uh, the same happens, you know, when the flow was invented. You know, I don't know. 5,000, 10,000 years ago. Um, there's extensive literature, by the way. I don't plan to, to, to bore you with that. But we're entering a new stage. We're entering the information era. So I think we're going to see sociopolitical organization completely change in the next 50 years. Many of these problems, which, which have to do with jurisdiction, you know, is this who has the right to ask for what and what are going to be the rules and is it the law of the U.S. or China or... Italy uh, that applies in this case. And where is the data located, really? Is it in the US? No. It's nowhere. When we say it's in the cloud, it's really in the cloud. Um, so I think these problems, you know, the current legislation and the current socio political organization is completely obsolete to deal with these issues. And that's where you will see, I think, over the next 50 years, a complete revamp on the way that, you know, we are organized you know, in the entire world as a society. And I think what you will see as well, and we're working on some of this, is the tools of engagement between citizens and governments to have a more fluid dialogue. Because even, let's say, the current liberal democracy, and I'm sorry if I'm sounding too far off and, and too futurist here, but I think, you know, the current uh, democracies are not necessarily servicing their citizens for all their needs and utilizing all the technologies that are available. And I think that's gonna change though, and it's gonna change in a, in a good way. So you will see a lot more tools come out, most of it having to do with information technologies that will allow for a more continuous and a more dynamic dialogue between citizens and governments.